If you haven't done so yet, please pause the video and attempt to solve the question before moving on. Our first step is to look at the following equation that relates energy, power, and time. And that equation states that the energy is equal to the amount of power times the time interval. Now power is measured in watts, and we were given that in the question. And then time can be measured in either seconds or hours. In this case, it's given to us in hours, and we actually want to keep it in hours. And the reason for that is because the unit of energy cost is a kilowatt hour, and that's a new and somewhat confusing unit, frankly. But we're going to leave the power in watts and the time in hours and simply multiply them together. Now, of course, when we multiply these two numbers together, we get 2400. And the unit we could express as a watt hour, since we're multiplying watts by hours. But what we really want is a kilowatt hour. So all we have to do is set up a conversion. We want to change watts into kilowatts. So we know that one kilowatt is 1,000 watts. And when we perform this conversion, we get a value of 2.4 kilowatt hours. Notice that the watts canceled out in that conversion. Moving on to the total cost, all we have to do is multiply this amount of energy by the rate of cost of that energy. Now that rate was given to us in the question as 12 cents per kilowatt hour. So we'll plug in that rate and we'll plug in the energy that we just found. And when we calculate this, we get a value of approximately 29 cents or $0.29. Dollars. So this would be the correct answer to part A. Moving on to part B, we're going to begin with the same equation that we started with in part A. The only difference here is that we're going to substitute in for power the expression current times potential. Now, of course, the reason that we want to do this is because the question gives us the amount of current as well as the potential of this electric oven. So we've plugged in the known values of current, potential, and time. The only problem is that when we multiply current by potential, the unit that comes out, so to speak, is a watt. And we don't want watts. We want kilowatts. So we're going to actually have to squeeze in a conversion that changes the watts of this quantity into kilowatts. So we've put that conversion factor in right here. Remember that these watts in the denominator will cancel with the watts that come from the quantity current times potential. So we can basically cancel that out. And so what we're left with in the end is approximately 22 kilowatt hours. And then now we can move on to calculating the cost. And of course, as before, the cost is equal to the amount of energy times the rate. So we'll take this amount of energy and multiply by the same rate from before. And when we do that, we get a value equal to $2.60. So this would indeed be the correct answer to part B. Thanks for taking the time to watch the video. If you liked it, please click that thumbs up icon and also subscribe to the channel so you can stay tuned for additional videos. Remember, you can send your own question into this email address and I'll do my best to answer on YouTube.